You know, growing up, um, you know, being from Canada, it's hockey's the main sport over there, and that's the main passion. So, um, growing up, my my parents and my family never um, had any ties with hockey before that. And um, you know, my dad moved over from Jamaica when he was 18. Um, you know, like one of the first things he did was, you know, kind of want to get the culture, like a new culture. Um, and obviously, as I said, hockey was super big, so he became a big Leafs fan. Um, then just growing up. Uh, my mom, you know, she liked to skate, go with public skates and everything. So she took me first skating when I was um, two. And then um, I think they put me in hockey when I was three or four. Um, and then always just, I, I would always go to my own Opa's house um, to watch the Leafs play every Saturday night. So I think those, all that tied in really made me fall in love with the game. I'm Quinn Byfield and I play center. Byfield in front scores! Quinton Byfield has goals in three straight. Growing up, it was more just, just having fun, um, you know, just being around all the guys, all your buddies. Um, you know, throughout minor hockey, I stuck with one organization, always stayed there. And, um, you know, there's always, there's opportunities to go elsewhere, but, um, you know, I think a lot of my buddies went to high school, played on my team, so it was kind of just a deep connection, just wanted to stay with them. And then, um, you know, I didn't even look, look at it like that or anything. It was, you know, got drafted to the OHL, still didn't really know, um, you know, how big that actually was. And, um, you know, I think it was more or less, um, you know, th halfway through my rookie rookie year in the OHL, and then, um, you know, obviously my draft year, I, I really had a look at it and said I could do something with this. And um, you know, I was obviously taking it serious before, but I think then that's when I realized I, you know, there's something, there's a bigger goal I can achieve here. If you look around the room, you know, there's a lot of different, um, you know, cultures in here. You've got a lot of Swedes in here. Um, obviously, you got some Russians. Um, you know, myself, um, Akil, like you got. Got a bunch, and um, you know I think it's really inclusive, and um, they do a really good job here, and um, you know make you feel welcome, and um, you know I think um, that's that's never looked at here. It's just you know you come to play hockey, um, you know that's the main goal. Everyone wants to win and achieve um, you know those objectives first. So I think it's a really good spot for me. I think like I, I think just growing up, um, I always looked at hockey was for everyone as well, and um, you know just growing up. If I look back at it, I don't think I really played with any, you know, minorities or like, um, you know, other cultures um, until I got here or when I played World Juniors with Akil as well. I think that he was my first, you know, other color teammates. So um, growing up, I, I never had any issues with um, race or anything like that. So um, I never looked at it anything different. And I think it's definitely for everyone. I think I first met him, I'll let you say the OHL Canada versus Russia series. It was kind of like one of those, you know, pre-tryouts for World Juniors and, um, you know, we kind of started talking there and, you know, we have a lot of similarities, um, you know, a lot of interests um, that we like. So I think we kind of became, you know, friends there. Then the World Juniors were in another country over in um, Bratislav, I think. Um, so we spent a lot of time over there together, um, you know, hanging out. So then we got really close over there. Then always in the summers, we always stay in touch and everything like that. Then, um, you know, he was obviously a prospect here and I ended up getting drafted here as well. So. Um, you know, got to see a lot of them last year and um, this year, so um, definitely the bond's getting pretty tight. <laughs>